It's Dr. John Perlman, Beverly Hills Plastic Surgeon. I thought it would be interesting to talk a little bit, just for a few minutes, about breast implants, especially large breast implants. Most of my patients, frankly, the vast majority come in and they just want a balanced look. They don't want it to be obvious to others. They want to feel more comfortable in clothes and bathing suits. And their goals and expectations are, are pretty much the norm. You just want to look better, have a nicer shape. But a few patients come in and they want to go to an extreme. They want very large breast implants. Perhaps they've seen friends get them uh, or uh, seen other women walking around with uh, obviously uh, augmented breasts that were large in size, maybe a full D or double D. So my advice to them is to think carefully about that because even though it might look great at first and make you very happy, uh, opinions change in time, and I, I've seen patients who had very large breast implants, even up to, as bizarre as it sounds, 2,000 cc implants, and I didn't put them in, come back years later in tears when they discover that uh, it's no longer working for them. Maybe they feel it makes them look heavy, or their careers uh, in dancing or whatever just never materialized, and they're heartbroken to hear that they need skin reduction if they're going to take out those large implants and go to a smaller size. Well, why is that? Well, for one thing, the body reacts to the presence of a large volume, in, in this example, a breast implant, by stretching, by thinning the breast tissue, by stretching the skin. And you just can't take it out and expect it to return to its previous state, especially after months to years. So when patients come back 5, 10, 20 years later and want to go from a 500 cc breast implant down to maybe 250 or 300 cc's, you can't do that without reducing the skin that's present, or you're just gonna get an empty looking sac with a small implant that would never look good. So I want patients to realize that there's a price to be paid, something to really think about before you have very large breast implants placed. And it depends upon the size of your frame and the diameter of your breast and the thickness of your own breast tissue and your skin elasticity, but I would start thinking about that when somebody's very small and asking me for a 400 cc implant or a 500 cc implant and certainly in the 600 to 800 cc range, I think there's going to be a price to pay for in the future for carrying that extra weight, thinning your tissues, seeing rippling in the future, feeling the, the wall of the implant, all things that make people regret the decision that they made years ago when they chose a very large breast implant. So my advice is understand the risks. If you want to go ahead and you've got enough tissue to accept that implant, it's your choice, but think carefully about it. And my recommendation is to generally be more conservative and look for a more natural size. I think it's going to weather the, the years better and look better in the long term and reduce the risk that you'll need the surgery redone. Thanks for listening. Just my thoughts. You may feel differently, but I, I'm, I, and I'd be welcome to hear your thoughts as well. Have a good day. Thanks for your time.